We're back, baby. Once more again, chaos culture <laughs> radio. Yes, sir. And it, it's lovely to be back. It is. Though. With Mustang Ron. Yes. My whole girl Kareem, she's paying. Oh, she paying right now? Yeah, she paying right now. She, you know what I mean? She's handling business. And, you know, we, we, we definitely going to get it in. Yes, sir. She's going to come back here and, and, and hit us up. But, uh-huh. Ron, man, how you been, man? Man, I've been good, man. You looking you know, good, my nigga. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. You looking it, good, man. man. I hope these women can see it, but they can't see me right now. So, man, you know, I'm doing my thing. You feel man, me? Man, you ladies better get on it now before you get a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you ain't, the secret, you ain't man. gonna be able to get them after that. Nah, man. I say the same thing too. Yeah, man. What about you, Walter? Look at you, man. You look I'm, so I'm, great, I'm, man. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to, you know. I'm trying to get my sexy back. I'm trying to bag new chicks. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Let me not say that because people yeah, might yeah, take yeah, that yeah, the wrong yeah. way. Matter <laughs> of fact, I want to give a shout out to a nice young lady. Oh, really? You know what I mean? A friend of mine. Okay. Let me very, be very specific about this, uh, Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson. Yeah, Miss Johnson. She took we we had a soiree not too long ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? She introduced me to a new food I never met in the hood where I'm from. Really? You know what I mean? We're gonna get them boys a shout out. I crave. I crave shout out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I seen them in there. We went to school together banging we banging wings. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Had a lot of police in there. I did feel intimidated. <laughs> I thought I had a case in something like what? Well I hope I don't got a warrant out here, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 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 yeah. let me give a shout out to Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson, shout out to you, baby. Shout out to you, Miss Johnson. And I want to also say that she's been very um, diligent, uh-huh. um, upfront, blunt, uh-huh. straightforward, <laughs> honest really? about her opinion about me, uh-huh. which has helped me um, as I'm this ongoing growth to be a better person of myself. Uh huh. We gonna leave it like that because I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, don't give out the secret. Yeah, we gonna give it like that. She's like, hey. But let's get that the top of your hand, my G. What we talking about today? Well, this is a, this is a tough topic, man, because you know a lot of people are afraid of their sexuality. But we gonna just tour it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? For one for one time only, is sex okay for one night stand? Ooh. You talking about that one night isle? Yes, sir. That I meet you in a, in a smash and probably won't call you tomorrow. Yes. Sloppy top under the uh, under uh, uh, under the table. Yes. Ladies, forgive me. I'm just I'm just trying to be descriptive. Um. Are you under, still doing it? Uh, I think it's I think there's a growing number of people that's still doing. It. Really? I think it's it, it's actually the norm right now. Really. Thanks to social media that. It has enabled us to have more access to more women. Oh. J- just imagine. You wasn't... Just imagine. There probably was a girl who lived down the street from you who never come out the house. You never know who she was until social media came and she could have been an animal. That's facts. You know what I mean? So, it, it, it's like I think One Night Stands has a very negative uh, opinion about it. But I think it serves its purpose for a lot of things. But you know why? Because the society we live in today are a lot of women and a lot of men are afraid of their sexuality. So they feel like they can't relate when it comes sexually. You know what I mean? So they see someone they really find attractive to and say, hey, baby, I just want to sleep with you just for one night. She, They might be intimidated like, hey, she might tell me no. It, it's a true statement. I, I, I have been a victim of that as well. But then <laughs> as you get older, you cannot, you cannot care anymore. <laughs> Cause you know what I mean, you gonna go home with blue balls, you know what I mean. You 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 you're gonna be sexually frustrated. All a person can tell you is tell you no. I think, but you see, the point is, men try to go about it in different ways. They offer to eat the box, or they offer to pay the pay the rent. And I think that's the wrong way to go about it. it, it you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean. A lot of women who are afraid to say that they like one night stands too. You know what I'm saying? But well, why is that? Because society put in their head that yeah. it's a shameful thing. It, it, it is. It is so, especially women who who follow that that cloth, <laughs> who you go who go who cloth. go who goes who goes to the embassy of faith, and they be the main one throwing that sack up. You gotta explain the cloth because some people don't know what the cloth is. The cloth mean church girls. 
them women who say that you know they follow the Lord but end up coming pregnant back on Sunday and the man's not next next sitting next to her. I'm not gonna hold my tongue. I'm ne- I'm never gonna do that. No, but not the church, man. Cause you always bring up the church every. I, I, I gotta, I gotta bring up the church because this is all we know. Because when we get older, we're going to be the deacon, the brother that's gonna be up in there. So we need to understand the dynamics of the church, ladies. It's it's a true statement. You know what I mean? You, you, um, there's more black women that go to church than black men. That's facts. You know what I mean? So the the thing about that is. A lot of them have one night stands as well. But the thing is, they're afraid to be judged because they have, in front of the time, where they talk to someone of their church members and tell them, "Hey, I slept with this guy yesterday." They feel that you're gonna be like in sin. It, it, you already in sin when you're not married. You sleeping with somebody you're not married to. Let's mm. get something straight. Mm. Let's get something straight. You, if you popping it back and there's not a ring from that dude, you popping it back. You already in sin. Mm. You already YOLO in it. So what's the issue, ma? The thing I get mad about is a lot of these girls that have one night stands with bad boys, uh-huh. but if you a good dude, they make you pay the rent. That's what I understand. Why is that? They make you ha- they, they make you become an ear of reasoning. That don't make any sense. To You're me. technically the gay homeboy. Y'all might kiss, maybe fool around, hug each other, but she was like, hold on, hold on, I'm not ready for that yet. You get her worked up and she'll call John John. That's wrong. John John, who just got out of prison, who's like, little mama, what's good? Um, I just want to come come through, come through. I hit it off. And that disrespect her, don't pay nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but 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 but, but, but that's the thing. I, I think we need to start. We we need to start being negative about certain things and start. Uh, 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 um, I think appreciate certain things about culture that are seen negative. But the thing is, people, like, for example, when a guy meet a woman or a woman meet a man, they don't bring it up in the first day they meet. You see what I'm saying? No, because we, we, you see, the thing is the game has changed. Back in the 90s, uh-huh. back in my era, slaughter game. Slaughter. Slaughter game. In my era, like, we come from the era where turns was animal, shown, where you was able to get a chick. Hit off one night, people started to get smart. They know they can get money out of dudes without effort. Right. So now dudes had to start playing the role different about it. Like, hey, I'm gonna spend a little bread. I'm gonna let her get this free meal, and I'm gonna, you know, what I mean, try to lure her into a point of wing digging. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So you might not smash the first night, but you probably will get it by the be, between between the first or the eighth date. Now that's how it is right now. Yeah, but a lot of guys, like right now, especially on YouTube, YouTube is big right now on the dating world because a lot of men is trying to figure out the secret of how I can I sleep with a woman on the first night. Bro, if man. you don't, check this out. If you don't got your money together, if your body ain't right, um, you don't got your own place, you're not smashing. I'm going to keep it a billy with you. You're not smashing. Unless you got a couple throwaways or recyclables, you're not smashing. Oh my mama, you not smashing fool. You gonna be sexually frustrated with your hand thumping. Wow, wow, they gonna be hating you when they hear this. They, they, they can hate me all they want. I'm your daddy. I'm gonna let you know what it is. It's keep it real. A lot of these guys are milk toast simp dudes. You know what I mean? You you can go through a million videos on how to do. You're not smashing if you're doing right. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? If you're not a convicted felon and you're not overly masculine, you're not effing. If you don't got your dough right, you're not effing. If you're a good dude, you're not effing. But how can they be masculine? That's one question. How can they be masculine? Get your money together. Work out. Be the best version of yourself. A woman will come and give it to you. Mm. At that time, you can cherry pick the type of woman you want to have sex with. Mm. Understand. Acknowledge your worth, brother. Man, acknowledge your worth. We we fell short to um, live our life based on a woman. Yes, we do. Yes, women are linked to us, and this the reason why we go crazy. This the reason why we sell dope. This the reason why we'll bust checks, scam, because we want to smash. Right. Sometimes it doesn't even. Sometimes we don't even want to smash. Sometimes we just want the company of a woman next to us. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm trying to say? But at the end of the day, women are getting so smart because they have options now where they won't where they won't text you as frequently. You know that. You know that. They right? won't call you as frequently. That's facts. That's facts right there, man. 
They look at you as an option, or you. They might perceive you as the, that gay homeboy. Facts. You're that ear of reasoning. Facts. But John John, he's not. John John, he's plugging that hole. John John, he's hitting her without no condom. John John is getting her pregnant. John John. You have a John John on your phone book, little mama. She knows she do, but she ain't gonna tell the next. Let me tell you something. Most of these women have a rotation of five dudes in their phone book. Facts. Now that's facts. They got the dude who's paying the rent. Back, who who cutting the check He's not touching it They got the one who's plugging it Yes They got the other one Who's the gay homeboy He's the ear of reasoning Facts I'm not the ear of reasoning No more my dude I stopped that I wanna smash Facts But can I Kinda get these guys Some seat Get them a tip At least one tip At least one Okay At least one You see like Now y'all Y'all about to get me Into my Reverend Brown mode Get it to him Show it to him he put the gut down. I, I got you because we sipping a little lick. He brought a little lick in here. A little honey and some Remy and shit like that. We, we twisted up in here. You know I me, mean? Chaos Mafia style. You feel yeah. me, saying? You know I me, mean? I got the analytic boys in the back. But, yeah. all right, check this out. Check this out, my dude. I'm going to give you the tips to smash a chick. Really? I'm about to give it to him. We waiting. And a lot of people might say this is absurd. But uh-huh. be the best version of yourself. <laughs> that cheesy man. That no, 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 no. Like Get your old. money up. Get your money up. Get out of debt. Don't get in no foolish leases. You know what I mean? It's not about your clothes half the time because you're going to attract plastic women. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You could, you could be, you could be in some case switches. Be the best version of yourself. Work out, mm-hmm. and chicks will come where you'll have a sex escapade. Wow! I'm gonna tell you something. The best smashing I've ever had when I had money. Really? Who, my Lord Jesus? Just tell us a story, at least one story, real quick. Don't give the name out. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't really like to get into all this, but I, I'll give you a story. It, it was it was a time and place where. I had a some some dollars at one time. This this, this was in my this was in my up north days. Uh-huh. I had the two earrings, the princess cut, fresh fitted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was working out. I wasn't man. You know I'm taking trips. I'm in New York. I'm renting skyscraper hotels. Wow. You know what I'm trying to say, and you know I I travel by myself at times. Right. You know what I mean? Because so this this one particular situation where you know what I'm saying um I'm in Manhattan. I'm at the coffee shop. I meet a shorty. You know what I mean? She see me reading a book. You feel me trying to say? Right. Matter of fact, the book I was reading was Click Cock. Wow. You know what I mean? A lot of Haitian girls know that book. Mm-hmm. So she was like, oh, you know this? I said, like, yeah, I'm Haitian. And You know what I mean? We started conversing and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I offered, hey, you want something to drink, ma? You know what I mean? So, so when she see me go in two pockets, I pulled out. She was like, Wow. Bought some. She said, hey, let's keep in contact. I told her I'm only going to be in town for a little minute. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just for a couple more days and stuff like that. We kept in contact. Uh-huh. I gave her the number. She, You know what I mean? She hit me that night. I ain't even answer. Wow. I ain't even answer. So my life, know. listen, my life never based on no woman. Facts. Let's get that straight. Facts. Take notes, gentlemen. Take notes. Called her the next day. Now, mind you, I said, hey, what's popping? And she was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I hit you up like, yeah. I said, whoop de whoop de whoop. I said, you can come chill with me at the hotel. Oh, you in the hotel? I said, yeah, you know, I don't live here. Came, ordered room service, bottles. <laughs> at that time, I at that time, like, I'm a Miami dude. I like the stunt. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I got, you know what I mean? Like, when I had a little cash, I had the most expensive rooms. Uh-huh. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm talking about the one where it comes with the robe inside. Right. Not that marble, <laughs> but that tile. Yeah. I didn't have enough for that marble wound. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? She came, vibe, relaxed, and you should else everything else is history. That's right. I'm not I'm not gonna even get into that. Everything else with history. So and that's the point. Listen, guys, I'm not saying that you can't get a woman to like you. I'm not saying that there's those outliers where you might look up on a chick and she might give you some pity sack. 
I just I just never been for pity sack. That's the thing. It's a difference between pity sack than a real sack. You know what I'm saying? The real sack, she actually enjoys it. The pity sack, she don't enjoy that at all. No, no, she man. doesn't. So, you know what I mean? It's not that. But if you want to get something that's fulfilling, you want to get something that you appreciate, you want something that, that that's going to be tremendous. And, and, and this is one clear thing. I'm going to tell you something. And women are not going to like this when I say this. Get that sex stuff out the way if you're trying to get into a serious relationship. Mm. Make sure, make sure, make sure she's blowing. Like, get that out the way because when you get married, it's hard to get out there. Mm. Make sure she fulfilled that type of situation you're looking for in that bedroom. Right. Sex, um, make up at least eighty percent of that relationship. Mm. A lot of people not gonna like that, but hey, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people get married because they want to smash every day. You know what I'm saying? But on top of all of that, there's an outlier. Um, you still got to love God. Yes. You got to respect her like a queen. Facts. And you have to be a leader. Facts. You have to be able to pay bills. Facts. You have to be able to uh, be a a prime example of a man. Yes. Now, mind you guys, I just talk a whole mess of stuff. He did. You know what I'm saying? But I just gave you the outline. You cannot, you cannot get that if you don't have that. That's why I say be the best version of yourself. Yes, man. He actually went in tonight, man. Do we have enough time? Or is the time going, man? Man, we, we got enough time because we got to hear your perspective, baby. Oh, yes. I want to make sure because, you know, we be talking. You be giving us so much gold. Oh. I be like, my pockets be full. Nigga, we going in. <laughs> okay, that's all I like to we hear. We going in. To me, if a guy want to have a one night stand, me, I just say just be straightforward with her. You know what I'm saying? You meet a girl, you have, a, you go out to eat, went on a nice date, or even for drinks, hell, even for ice cream, you feel like, hey, hey, mom, I just want to get in with you or whatever. You should let her know straightforward. But like my man said, you gotta make sure you looking right. Your pockets is nice. Everything about you is shining gold because a woman ain't gonna waste her time and give her hus- her precious jewels to someone that ain't worth it. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? So, women don't date weak men. Boy, they date gladiators. They do. Hercules, you know what I mean? I'm talking about the ones who wrestle lions. That's you true. talking about she's going she talking about she's gonna give you the poom poom? And you not no gladiator? That's why I say you go out there, start lifting up some iron and putting it down. Facts. Gonna have scars on your back. <sighs> That's why she date Pookie and Riri. Basically. Because Pookie and Ray got scars in the back. They in jail. Yeah, but they don't last that long. Pookie and Ray never last. That's only short-lived. You want them trying to say women do with them just to um, gamble with their youth. Right. And they always end up with a good dude so they can, you know, he's a good guy is a collateral damage for most women. Wow. <laughs> Ladies, that. forgive me. Explain that, baby. All I owe, all I owe is God. When I say this, I'm, I'm only speaking. Okay, let, let let's think about this. I'm gonna explain that to you, and we we can go on this, and I want you to chime in. We're gonna close, and ladies, you can get as much as you mad as you want. Let me tell you why a good guy's collateral damage. First off, you was never her first picked. Second, she don't like you. She don't like the way you dress. She she think you soft. You let her run all over you. Um, you're too passive. Man. Um, she wants you to tell her to shut up. Man. Fix me a steak. But you're not like that. But you grew up in a two-parent home. You cherish women. You acknowledge them. No. You're good for when she turns 35. And she has four to five kids. The father's not around. And she's going to say, hey, I wonder what Thaddeus is doing. And her homegirl say, you talking about Thaddeus, the one you used to get money from? Wow. That Thaddeus. Ooh. Let's see. Let's check him up on Facebook to see if he has a girlfriend. Girl, he is still single. Girl, I think this is your chance. He might be your rib that God was talking about. Ooh, man. After you let John John blew your back out. For the, for the last 10 years, Thaddeus, and, and you know the sad thing about it is, Thaddeus is going to get with her because he was always in love with her. Fact. That's true. He was always in love with her. He was like, ah. He worshiped her. I'm here to tell Thaddeus, Thaddeus, 
there's there's um girls who are graduating college there's girls who graduate in college every June. Do not waste your time, my brother. That was just a beep beep to let us know we running over time. Man, we gotta go over time with this, man. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, with but that is, man. Oh man. I'm gonna go very quick and smooth. Stop worshiping her, bro. Stop worshiping her. You're not supposed to worship nothing on this earth but God. That's it. That's it. One hundred percent. That's it. Case you put goes. you put God first. Uh, forgive your mom. Forgive your dad. I gotta keep saying that so people can get in because to get in their head. Because let me tell you something. You tend to marry. You tend to marry what you hate most of the time. Which is true. You tend to you tend to get with what mimics what you know. Most men in 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 um, indiscriminately, unknowingly, unconsciously date. Guys that are like their father, true, or resemble their father in certain attributes. So if you don't forgive your dad for not being there, or forgive your mom for being so hard on you because your dad wasn't being there, you tend to get with a woman who cusses you out, mm-hmm. who belittles you, or you tend to get with a man who smashes and don't calls you. Things that might resemble what you might know because most of y'all come from single family homes. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? You're used to certain people doing you dirty. And this is the reason why you got to go to these people who have hurt you the most. And you tell them, I forgive you. Mm. Let God guide you. And you'll be able to get the man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams. Mm -hmm. And a lifestyle that you most desire. Facts. That's it, baby boy. You're done. I'm sorry we, we, we had to do this, but I'm just, this is just what it is. You have any shout outs? Yeah, I want to get shout out to my friends, my, my family, you know, even the women, you know what I'm saying, that they give me intake and advice, you know what I'm saying. So they're taking us to a different level. And not only that, but you got to give a shout out to God, man. Give a shout out to God. I want to give a shout out to India. We've been checking the analytics. Yeah, good job, India. Sh- you know what I mean? Shout out to the Ganges River. Yes. Shout out to Mountain View, California. Yes. Shout out to Salem State. Yes. Shout out to all listening. We need y'all to donate to Don't the page. To yeah, yeah. It'll be in the description. Donate the, the media bums. We got all that. We're trying to get to another level so we can bring you this product heavy. Yes. Chaos Culture Radio out. Holla at your boy. Man, I just appreciate y'all just listening. Stay tuned for the next episode.